Honestly, it should be 100 percent of the black people should vote for Trump because I did more for black people than any president other than Abraham Lincoln. It's true. It's true. I did more than any president other than Abraham Lincoln. Think of it. Criminal justice reform. I took care of the black colleges and universities. Hello my viewers and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and be part of the conversation by sharing your thoughts on what you think about this video. Now in this video, we take a look into a provocative discussion on Donald Trump's appeal among some black voters. Now, despite the polarizing perceptions of Trump, many black supporters argue that his policies and actions have been beneficial to the African American community. Now, we'll hear from individuals who challenge the conventional narrative, asserting that Trump's initiatives and his approach to leadership have made a tangible impact. From claims of unprecedented support for black Americans to arguments that the allegations of artism are politically motivated. Now, this video offers a nuanced exploration of why some black Americans believe Trump is a president who genuinely cares about their concerns. So join me as we explore these compelling perspectives. I will be right back. I ain't never heard of him being racist prior to running, the pr running for president. That's just me though. I mean, because any two ways you look at it, the man won his presidency without the black vote. What he need it for? What he need us for? Tell me what he need me for. He don't need me. But for some reason, he always get up on that stage talking about how low black unemployment is. Because he legitimately cares. You never heard Obama get on stage talking about black unemployment. He couldn't. Because under his first two years with a Democratic Congress, it doubled. Black unemployment under Barack Obama doubled. How many of y'all know that? It doubled. It literally doubled. It went from 8% to 16%. How you get around that no media say nothing about that? But Donald Trump getting it to the lowest it's ever been recorded. Like I said, he don't need us. He does not need the black vote. The black vote didn't put him in office. The black vote ain't going to take him out of office. But the fact that he gets up there on them stages every chance he get and tells us how we are doing because we, I ain't going to say that. We too crazy to realize it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to do that. He ain't, he ain't got to get out there when he was running for president. He didn't have to get out there talking about, um, what do you have to lose? Vote for me. He didn't have to do that. But he did. And we grateful that he did. You know, it's some smart folks out there that happen to be darker skin like me. Mm-hmm. You just got to find them. See, a lot of them scared to say something because they scared somebody going to say something back to me. I'm a step. What's up? You got something to say about Donald Trump? What? I ain't got no MAGA hat. My damn head too damn big to be trying to wear a MAGA hat. So I can't wear no MAGA hat I know where. But I got a MAGA sweater in there that I wear. I wore it to work. Nobody said nothing. I'm a big up. They better not say nothing. But a lot of us as African Americans don't understand that we need to vote for Trump. We, we keep the narrative that he's a racist is a false narrative. If we know it's a false narrative. Of course, he wasn't called a racist until he started running for office. Before then, he was hanging out with every rapper, you know, in the city. You know, so how can it be a, a racist up until one point and then all of a sudden he's a racist uh, all of a sudden? But his policies, we need to not vote for uh, personality. We need to vote for policy. His policies are for everybody. And he's done so many things for African Americans. The, the Second Chance Act, uh, low unemployment rate and he's given to um, a historic black colleges. So we need to keep those policies and push forward with his policies and keep that momentum and not vote different when it come up. The Democrats have nothing for us but death on their platform and most of their platforms do nothing but uh, destroy the African American community. We know that. We say we want to change but we're afraid to make the change because of his personality. I get it. A lot of people don't like him but like his policies and you cannot lose those policies that African Americans. A lot of people are going to say oh you're, you're, you're wrong for supporting him and everything like that. 
no, I'm not wrong for them supporting him. We need to keep those policies. We need to keep those, that momentum in the uh, African-American community moving forward. Yeah, I think it's important to note, like you said, unemployment for the African-American community specifically as it is at an all-time low. And you can't dispute facts. What would you say to your African-American counterparts that argue that, you know, he hasn't done for the community what, what other people say he has? Well, uh, I would first of all tell them to look his policies up. We vote personality instead of voting um, uh, policy. I told a friend about the uh, uh, low unemployment rate. He didn't even know it. I was talking to an African American friend of mine. He was like, "What? What did he do?" They they keep asking, "What? What's his policies? What's his policy?" What did, I said, "Haven't you heard about the low unemployment?" No, I didn't know that. All they know is, "Oh, he's a racist. He's a racist. He's a racist." That's a false narrative being pushed by the left. You can't just look at this. This election is so important. You can't look at personality. You have to look at policy. That's what, I, mean, I used to vote like that too. I, before I got with Walk Away, Walk Away helped me out a lot. She um she helped me out a lot to walk away from the um the Democratic Party. I was one of those people that voted on on personality. I'll just look at the uh, the um right. the candidates and say which one's a nicer guy. Well, we can't do that because nice can be tricked nowadays. Absolutely. The people on the Democratic side will smile in your face and won't get your vote and won't give you nothing in return. We need to at this point look at presidents the black Trumpers, and I don't mean black Republicans, because that's one thing to be a Republican, it's another thing to be a Trumper. To the black Trumpers, how does it feel to know that the Republican Party doesn't even look at you as a citizen? Freed or enslaved, baby. Them people say, we don't need y'all vote. Y'all ain't no citizens. We, the white people, go handle this ourselves. Like, how does that make y'all feel? Like, y'all was out here literally cooning for free. Like, how does it feel? Y'all ain't even get no ducats from, co from cooning, baby. Y'all just was... I had been a call for free. Oh, how does that feel? Like, I don't ever want to know what that type of black person feel like. Like, what does it feel like to be a coon? I don't even care. Y'all going to hell. It is so funny to me. Like, y'all was doing all of this for free. Y'all was out here cooning for free. And now that people said, we don't need, you're black. We don't need you. <laughs> you thought we needed you? Go over there and tap dance with them Democrats, baby, because we don't want you over here. So we got two black Americans here that are standing with Trump. Mm -hmm. Now, according to data, 92% of black women vote for Democrats. Right, so why are you different? Because things need to change. It's horrible. I am struggling right now. I, I was the, yes. I was in there. Seriously, right. it's bad. So you were doing a lot better with Trump in office. I was. I just told that guy that and he laughed at me like the economy wasn't it's, better. It's true. It's, it's true. true. And he did a lot of stuff under the table that a lot of people don't know about. Don't recognize and know. And what would you say to a black person who says that Trump is racist? I don't believe that because when they look up the history and everything, he's the only president that didn't own slaves. That's right. Yeah. He's the only one historically if you look at his ancestry. Exactly. Even Obama had yeah. slave owners. That's what I'm saying. So that much I do know. Wow. <laughs> God bless you ladies. I don't know about y'all, but I'm starting to see a uh, increase, a dangerous increase in black Trump supporters. And I thought these were outliers, but the the way every time I turn around and there's another black influenceable black person who is in support of Donald Trump, it, it's like it's like I'm surrounded. It's like I'm like, what is going on now? I think what happened was that I was into that Fonnie Willis stuff. That's funny with the stuff that was going on and I wanted to see how that played out now There is a black content creator who was explaining all of that, but I didn't want to wait for, She's her name is I'm not a lawyer I didn't want to wait for her every day because she was covering up the stuff the YSL trial and all that So I would look up lives while I was at work and a lot of these people and I wanted to support black creators so I would look up black I would look for black people who are covering this and so many of them are Trump supporters there are black Trump supporters everywhere YouTube TikTok everywhere and I'm like wait we were all here four years ago we were all here when the insurrection happened we were all here when we saw that man incite violence and these white people took it upon themselves to storm the capital we were all here when that happened do you think do you think that he's going to let it go this time do you think he's going to be told that he can't be re-elected after this presidency do you think he is going not going to incite violence again 
we were all here through that whole four years. How do we get to a point as black people that we're going to be in support of a of a violent man who is trying his best to be a dictator? How have you lost your mind that hard? How have you done it? How have you lost your mind to the point that you're a black Donald Trump supporter? I know they're out there, but it's so many now. So many people are trying to justify themselves as being black Trump supporters. It is insane to me. We were all here. We all saw, we all witnessed him being a president. It's not a good look at all. There's nothing, nothing is worth it. A stimulus, nothing is worth it. Nothing is worth this violent man who can't take criticism no, we can't do it. Now, I'm not here to tell anyone who to vote for. While some black individuals feel that Donald Trump has genuinely cared for and done a lot for the black community, and while these perspectives are worth considering, I believe that everyone is entitled to their own choices and opinions. The decision on who to support is a personal one, and it's important that each person votes for the candidate who they believe best represents their values and interests. Ultimately, my message is to encourage you, my viewers, to make an informed choice based on what you feel is right. Now, let us polls show 17% of black voters would vote for former president today, more than twice the number in 2016. He was famously called the former Palm Color Supremacist in Chief by Democrat Congresswoman Cory Bush in 2021. Back in 2018, Hillary Clinton called former U.S. President Donald Trump ignorant and art of the cyst after he reportedly made highly derogatory comments about Haiti and African countries. Now, even Republican Nikki Haley, who recently dropped out of the race for the presidential nomination, called recent comments Trump made about African Americans disgusting. But despite all of this, and as the U.S prepares for a likely rematch between him and now Kamala Harris in the 2024 presidential election, polls show that Donald Trump is only growing in popularity among black American voters, just like we have heard and seen in the videos. Now, why is that? And how much of a difference could that make in November? In 2016, Trump received 8% of the black vote according to the exit polls, the highest level of support by black voters for any Republican since George Bush in 2000. By the 2020 U.S. presidential election, support for Trump among black voters had surged to 12%. And while current opinion polls vary, a recent survey from John Forward shows that if the elections were held today, 17% of black voters would vote for Donald Trump, while 20% said they would vote for someone other than Trump or now Kamala Harris. Now, the black voting bloc is unique in the U.S. Currently, it is the only group of voters which has consistently identified with the Democrat Party, reaching 77% of black voters in favor of Democrats in 2020. By comparison, 42% of palm color voters and 63% of Latino voters identify as Democrats. Now, however, only 63% of black voters an all-time low since Jane Ford started collecting data in 1999, say they will support Biden. But now things did change. There is Kamala Harris on the table. Now, to understand the history of the black vote and the Republican Party, it is necessary to, to look back at voting patterns in the early 20th century. Before the 1930s, the Republican and Democratic parties received roughly equal support from both black and palm color voters. The election of Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1932, however, triggered a shift of black voters to the Democratic Party. According to data from the Joint Center for Political and Economic Studies, Roosevelt gained 71% of the black vote for his presidency in 1936. Now, during the Great Depression, African Americans were disproportionately impacted by unemployment, and Roosevelt's New Deal, a set of economic recovery programs, attempted to correct these economic issues. On Roosevelt would later say among American citizens, there should be no forgotten men and no forgotten races. Now, the Democrats would continue peeling away voters from the Republican Party in the late 1940s when Harry S. Truman, another Democratic president, signed an executive order on July 26, 1948, ordering the disgration of the U.S. armed forces. Now, this infuriated a cohort of the Democratic Party, known as the Dixiecrats, however, who were opposed to civil rights legislation and wanted to keep segregation in force in the southern states. The Dixiecrats held a separate convention in Birmingham 
Alabama in July 1948, at which they nominated South Carolina Governor Storm Thurmond as staunch segregationist for president on what they termed the, the state's rights ticket, which called for the right to keep segregation. Although he won more than 1.1 million popular votes in the 1948 presidential election, this amounted to only 2.4% of votes cast, and he was ultimately defeated by Truman, who won 303 electoral votes against him. Now, a Gallup poll last year showed that the proportion of black adults in the U.S. who consider themselves Democrats had decreased from 77% in 2020 to 66%. Today's black voters operate a bit more independently from previous generations, especially young black voters. In the 2022 midterm elections, Biden largely returned the black vote. However, there was a considerable shift among black voters towards the Republican Party, from 8% at the meetings four years previously to 14% in 2022. Historically, the Democratic Party's legacy with the civil rights movement is what kept it popular with black voters. However, younger black voters do not have those same civil rights legacy attachments. I think a certain generation of black voters don't have the direct experience with the civil rights movement or the knowledge of those things because to them, that's not memory, it's history, said Adolphus Belk political scientist at Winthrop University. They are coming in without an understanding of these historical contours and, and turns limitations opportunities. And those frustrations are being made clear in this rising percentage of black voters that's taking a different look at the Republican Party in general and are exploring some curiosities with Trump despite his racial baggage. Now, I don't know what you guys think about this video, but share your thoughts, your views, your contributions on what you think about what is being said in the videos. Share your thoughts in the comment section and let's have a conversation there. Thank you for always watching and see you in my next video as I bring you another interesting video.